Welcome back to Vintage Craft UHC Season 6. We're now in Episode 5, so I think we've still got a couple of episodes before Meetup. I believe Meetup is at the end of Episode 6. Yes. Mike Grant has okay. found the abandoned mine shaft. Sorry, continue. I, you were about to speak. Yeah, no, I, I think it's Episode 6. Mm -hmm. The mine shaft she's found is actually at a pretty good level, at a round level, at a round diamond level. So, uh, very nice, although it does seem to go up. She's actually, she's, it looks like she's actually dug into the lowest portion possible of it. Everything else above it seems to be just, uh, seems to be just, uh, gold level, which is not a problem. Red Super finds diamonds. Very nice, because I think Omni is the only one who are on that team to have found diamonds at this point. I should have them into HP in a while, so let's go to them since they just found diamonds. In fact, uh, looks, oh, <laughs> good thing I CP to them. They found a vein of four diamonds. Very nice, however... <laughs> I'm not going to hide it. The border is very close by. Oh, damn. In fact, it's extremely close by, and the only thing between between her right now is lava. <laughs> Where's Sober in all of this? Um. Oh, Sober is a little bit further in the cave. Yep. Actually, by the time HP gets out of this, I don't think... Oh, I'm hoping she runs out quickly. Okay, okay, okay. She she's realized there's no more to the lake. Nope, she's gonna is she gonna keep digging? She's very indecisive. She's digging towards the border, which isn't a problem. The hopefully now when you're close to the border, you can actually see a bit of a light change actually in your in your in your FOV. Like to, to, to I think there's audio cue as well, right? Uh, I don't think there's an audio cue. No, there's just a bit. There's just a bit of a visual cue. Like your screen goes a bit more light or red, which gives you a rough idea. But oh, uh, this is not going to end well. Nope. Unless they, uh, uh, unless she notices the uh, the light, she is about to find diamond though. So that's something. Can she do anything with it though? It's. It looks like quite a decent patch actually. There's at least two. No, like as in, will she die? <laughs> oh, she'll die. The board is now in her cave. <laughs> I mean, and it's getting to a corner as well. Yep, it doesn't watch out. It's looking very. Oh, and it's also on the other side, actually. Yeah. So uh, it's not looking very good right now. I, I was, I'm, to, to me, the strategy would just simply be to dig in a straight line. I mean, I think that's safe. I mean, I, I think that's fair. Like to, to, to like dig in a straight line. I mean, like you're not. I mean, like you, you you're not strip mining. You're just you're trying to dig away from the border. Will she is... look back though? Um, I thought she already did. Oh, I think she. I think she's seen it, but she doesn't seem to care. She's mining more diamonds. I mean, diamonds are important. Okay, now I'm hoping she's seen the problem and is digging. It looks like she's decided to start digging. Can an iron pickaxe outmine it? That is the question. It should be able to. She's in found. Test, she's I cheated and so, found but... gold in the wall. <laughs> That's not considered cheating. <laughs> Looks like she's going to go past the gold. Very smart, actually, because her life is much more important. <laughs> yes. Sofa finds diamonds. Her first patch of diamonds in the game. Six is diamonds. That, is that the diamonds? Is that the diamonds that we were talking about the whole time? No, it's a different set of diamonds. <laughs> she's still have not found the other diamonds. <laughs> she's just that good. Looks like HP, I think HP might be okay, actually. If she keeps digging the way she's digging, she's actually going to hit a ravine, which could help. I don't think it will. She can go straight up and cover Because if she looks to the right in the ravine, she'll see the other. <laughs> oh, yeah, that will probably just cause more anxiety, actually. That's a good yeah. point. I would be very I mean, anxious as... if I saw that. I would be like, okay, this is a problem. <laughs> as you can see, though, you can easily outdig it. The yeah. border, that is. Yeah. But she is making progress. Yeah, she's making great progress. She's about to, she's about to see the other side of the border. She's very... She, she's very... Uh, nervous. She's seen the other side of the border. She's also seen the creep, and she's ducking back in the hole. But the problem is, if she goes down the other side, she'll see the other side of the border. <laughs> and she's blocked off her only exit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I think she's trying to outdig the... Creeper, so she doesn't have to deal with it, but she's gonna get in a lot of trouble if she doesn't start digging towards um, away from the border again. Yep, she has to. Yep, yep, yep. She has to seriously start considering uh, the way she mines. Because the one on the right 
is not that big of a deal right now, but it's the one water. behind her is concerning to say the least. I wouldn't worry oh, about. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I wouldn't worry about blocking off the ravine. I think you should be more worried, more worried about exactly what's. If she to dig, dig, just continue digging and block off behind you. <laughs> oh, dearie. Yep, she's uh, in a bit of a pickle right now. I'm hoping for the pickle best. I, I, I really hope she can make it out of here alive. I, I'm really hoping for the best. Burrito, finding three more diamonds, bring his total of 14, 15, sorry, 15 diamonds. Oh, an architect getting poisoned. I'm going to go TP there. Oh, Dutchman is the first to be falling to the border. Why can't I TP to him? No, not border. Sorry, not border. Looks like it was actually just gravel. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's it. And he has a diamond shovel. He should be able to, he should be, he should be able to easily outmine oh, that. Oh, Dutch. He should, he should be able to easily outmine that. He should be able to easily outmine the, outmine the gravel. What are you doing? <laughs> What's with the diamond shovel as well? Interesting use of diamonds, <clears throat> I must say. But look at all the cave spiders! Oh boy, he's in a he's in a world of pain if he if he uncovers that. Poor duck. Well, he's probably trying to rescue architect. That's oh, true. Dear. Architect did get poisoned down to half a heart. I think. Architect did get poisoned down to half a heart. I see some uh, absorption uh, bubbles. So. Yep. Looks like uh, looks like she's safe for now. HBA is still digging away. Okay, good. However, the border on the other side is coming up as well, so she has to start hurrying up. <sighs> oh no. I'm, I want to count how many she's spiders... She's getting herself in a pickle because she's taking her sweet time. I see four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Ca ten cave spiders. Ten. Oh, this is not going to end well. I think we're going to get our first uh, border kill. Oh no, this is not good. I don't want to TP because I don't want to watch it happen because it's so sad. Yep, yeah, I think she's uh, found a problem. Oh wait, am I lagging? No, I'm not lagging. She's just she's just stopped. Yep, she can't even... Oh no, oh, no she can dig, just barely. Nope, she's, she's done. Oh, is she? She can still... Nope, now she's done. Now she's done for sure. And she took too long. Yep, she took she... too long. Yep, she took too long. Very unfortunate. Shall... Fun fact, when you're outside the border, it takes about five blocks until you start taking damage. Interesting. Yeah. Poor Sober. Sober, Sober just barely managed to get to the surface. But it's uh, not enough. <clears throat> and our first border kill has happened. Sober. Yeah. Sober now as solo. Just on the edge of the border. The border's actually hit the 500 mark at this point, so uh, that's interesting. We're actually already in the, uh, actually already in the uh, the 500, so the border's getting very close together. And there's still a lot of people alive. And just for reference, everybody, it is indeed possible to outtake the border, but um, y yeah, you gotta be fast. Very fast. In fact, outdigging oh, the border yeah. is more is sometimes more strategic than UHC itself. <laughs> you yeah, gotta be very yeah. strategic with how you do it. Oh, Fanasu. Oh, with the first. Oh, it's a cave fight. Trombone Man and Fanasu trying to do trying trying to do lava strats. Trombone Man is a solo, but uh, and as uh, and, and they're both trying to use lava to each other's advantage. Part time is trying to get in. Oh, no. Trombone oh, no. has been try and trombone backed up into Fanasu's lava. All the stuff is burned, but Fanasu gets the first kill of the UHC with lava. First blood has been drawn. All the stuff is burned, That's unfortunately, so but first blood has gone to Fanasu. <laughs> and um, looks like we have another case of border, except these guys seem to be a little more smart. And there's a pink team right above them. We've got Shiten and Richie digging up away from the border with their enchanted pickaxes, which is very, very smart. However, it's oh, it's vintage beef, I think. However, beef oh, no, and it's vintage beef and beef. <laughs> it's, it, no, it, no, 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 it actually is beef. It's beef and uh, actually. Uh, Jose? Yep. No. Wait, uh, I need to relog because they're both. Oh, the wrong trailer. Trailer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I need to relog because they are because someone one yeah. of them relog. There we go. Yeah, looks like they're swimming away though. I was like, this is beef and... Wait, what? Beef? <laughs> yep, so they're swimming away. 
I doubt they were swimming away from them though. Like I like I I doubt they saw them. They probably only saw the border. But uh, yeah, red team very close somewhere there. In fact, they they were they were right below them. That's actually quite interesting. I mean, I I'm sure. I'm sure Richie knew that they were above them, but I doubt Ray Drailer and Beef knew that they were below them. Would be unlikely, yes. They managed to outdick the border, though. Yep. I'm really happy with how the border is doing so far, because uh, last season it was quite a problem, but I feel like this season's a lot better. Yeah, this season seems to be a lot better. I, I don't know if you made it slower or anything. Uh, we, we more than doubled the speed, or lowered the speed, I guess. Okay, like, that's good. Half the speed. Like, it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the time. The Raylo and Beef seem to have golden apples to spare, and it looks like did they see them? Yeah, yeah. Um, Rich, uh, Richie's team did indeed see Beef's team just on the horizon, but they were. Uh, I'll be right back. They've shifted. All right, see you later. All right, so Richie and Richie and Shiten have managed to make it out of the border. They see chickens, and they're going to go and kill them for arrows. While uh, while Beef's team strolls along into this into the into the distance, looks like they might be on the prowl for kills at this point because they're enchanted up. Looks like they had extra golden apples to spare. Uh, let's check out Royal Majesty. See how they're doing right now. Oh, looks like Royal Majesty is very close to Cat and Laz, and looks like they're oh they have <laughs> what flag is that? Is that? Is that is that Scotland or Ireland or is that a different or is that is that a different flag? Either way, they've made a, they've made their flags representative of a country for sure, and looks and and they see Laz and Cat, which is interesting. Both teams are enchanted, and uh, this could be an interesting fight if it continues. They're both shifting. Falling Dutchman finds another three diamonds. They both got enchanted axes. Oh, Flues hits Richie. What a bad time for Flues and what a bad what a bad time Flues and Richie have found Shiten, and Phantoms are coming down to murder them. Richie's going straight in for Flues. What are they doing, Richie? What are you doing? Shiten gets a hit on Flues and uh, yeah, Richie's going straight in for Jose. But 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 Jose has a bow. Flues and Shiten going in for melee and the cobwebs have trapped Shiten, slowing him down. Chiton gets pinged and pinged, but the shield manages to save them. Richie taking damage from the wolf. Ho Richie down to just 0.5. Goes down to Jose. Second blood has been drawn. Chiton can eat up that golden apple. Flues seemingly escaped the fight. I don't know where Flues went. Looks like they've both met up with each other to try and collect up the stuff. Morgan taking a lot of damage from a zombie. Looks like he managed to live on half a heart though. Looks like Chiton is in a uh, is is in a pretty uncomfortable chip uh, is in a pretty uncomfortable uncomfortable position here. Oh, Morgan just died to a zombie right next to us. What the hell? Wait, did Beef die? No, 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 Beef. Just... Whoa, what the hell? Mental Mad just got a kill. What's going on? I'm missing all this action. Quorfawn. No, that's not Quorfawn. That's someone else. Quorfawn just died to a wolf. What the hell? I'm missing all this stuff. This isn't good. There's so much stuff going on. I cannot keep up. <laughs> Oh my god, what even just happened? Let's try and get a recount of all that stuff. Okay, so obviously Richie died to Jose. We saw that. Then Beef doing Slash Me confused me. Because I thought he died. Then Captain died. Obviously we saw Captain was getting low on his elves was about to TP. Then Chiton went down to Jose, which was expected because he was quite low. Then Boggy started fighting Queen and Quorfawn. Quorfawn... Um, there's so much stuff going on here, I can't even catch up. Um... Yeah, Queen went down to Mental, and then Quorthorn went down to Mental's team as well. Holy shoot. I just could not keep up. There was so much going on. I could not keep up with that stuff. Regardless of what that, of what happened there, Mental Madam Bloggy made, managed, to make, managed to make it out of that pretty nicely. Looks like they have golden apples to spare. Diamond ap di diamond apples? That would be That would be very impressive. Diamond armor to spare, enchantments, anvils. Looks like, well, looks like they got plenty of stuff here, and uh, they've and we got gold team notion and fish actually coming along, and uh, we'll be we'll be seeing them very shortly. Fish just taking out a drown, very nice. Now will they see their name tags? Their name tags are very close. Yep, they've seen them. 
I think. Yeah, they yeah yeah they know the notion and fish about to take on and I about to take on their first fight. But look at all those wolves. In fact, I think they've both seen each other. They both know that they're that they both know that they're there. The problem here is if uh, if notion and them dig down, the walls will definitely will, will definitely take them out. No questions asked. So Jose's currently so I think so I think we've got Jose and uh, Metal Mad on the uh, on the scoreboard on, on 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 the scoreboard in the lead with two kills each. These guys could not be closer. They're currently trying to decide what the best course of action to take here is. Obviously, they know they're right below them. The zombie coming behind them could also be a potential issue. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Apparently, Notion didn't even see the zombie. I, I, maybe they're being quite. Oh, and oh, oh, and and they've and they've been released. Notion trying to go in for the melee. Notion's lagging out a fair bit. Oh, she's lagging out a lot actually. She's getting hit quite a lot. Fish, you've got to fish. You've got to try and save her. The wolves are the, the wolves are causing an issue. Notion running around. She's getting hit a lot by Mensal. I, I think Notion's lagging a bit. It, that, that's what it looks like, at least. Bloggy taking a lot of hits on Fish as well. They're trying to meet up. It's not looking too good. Another hit on Fish. And Mensal just shot his teammate. This is this is not looking good for the gold team. The wolves and all the mobs are, are, are working very bad are working very bad against them here. The wolves are seriously hitting Fish down. Notion goes down to Mental Mad. Blogy and Mental Mad running house. Fish running for his life. Amarabella taking damage. Sober is fighting Carabina. And there goes Fish. Sober takes that Carabina right there. Interesting. And it looks like. Did he just get some golden apples out of that? Interesting. Mental, Mental just got another bunch of kills there. I think Mental's up to three kills now. Blogy also getting a kill there. Calbina went down to Sober, the solo. Sober obviously still have some fight left in him, despite losing, uh, despite losing his teammates to the border. Will continue to fight on. Very nice to see. Unsure if anyone's nearby to him. Looks like, uh, looks like everyone's still. Looks like he's pretty alone for now. Obviously taking free to start. I think they saw him pick up some golden apples from that loot pile as well, maybe, which is very nice. He's also fairly close to the border. So as we see, as the game goes on, this there's still so many teams left. There's still two rows of players left. That's in, that's ridiculous to think about, actually. Now I want to go back to Laz because we because last time we saw Laz was Laz's team was very close to another team, and currently it seems that there are three teams around them. Well, two teams, including them. We've got the red team to the left and a blue team to the right. They've hit the surface. Obviously trying to be as safe as humanly possible. Looks like they might just be waiting for the dip for, for daytime, which makes sense. Maybe I can finally catch a break and there won't be any... Oh, Architect, just as I say that, falls down and takes two and a half, two, two hearts of damage. And uh, the full damage goes down. Architect goes down, and uh, Dutchman was the teammate. Oh, this is Bunny right next to them, actually. Bunny is, uh... But Bunny is now close to the surface, just currently maybe reflecting... Maybe, maybe reflecting her future in this game. Who was I about to TP to? Was it Dutch? I think it was Dutch. The, the falling... No, falling Dutchman. There we go. Oh, yeah. Fell right through this little gap. Oh, that's a shame. That's so sad. Fell right through that gap right down there. There's some gold ore here. It looks like there's a bit, a couple bits actually. It might be smart for uh, Dutchman to go get that. Although, uh, obviously, it might risk uh, the same fate happening. Looks like sabotaged by teammate. Almost looks like yeah. It's, it's, I, I'm actually a little concerned that fall that 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 Dutch may have actually mined the block beneath her and killed her, which would have been absolutely horrendous. If that's actually the case. Regardless, Dutchman now also a solo. So let's take a look at Nebris, as we haven't seen Nebris' team in a while. They're also... Well, they're fairly close to the border again, actually. But they've uh, been safe for a while. Looks like they are still enchanted, still caving, still trying to find gold and things. That's the end of episode 5. Next time, we're going to see even more action, even more death. 
and maybe some more border kills. See you next time for the penultimate episode of Vintage Craft UHC Season 6.